Lucid has become the latest electric vehicle manufacturer to announce vehicle-to-home battery technology. What does this mean for your plans for a renewable energy system or a future electric vehicle? We're going to be discussing that topic in today's video. Hi everyone, Joe Ordia here for Solar Surge. And for the past nine years, I've been helping families achieve energy independence using clean, renewable energy. Now, if you're new to the Solar Surge channel, uh, on this channel we talk about all things having to do with home renewable energy systems, whether it's solar power, battery backup, uh, sometimes even generator systems as well. Now, in today's video, we're going to be talking about vehicle-to-home battery technology, and also looking specifically at Lucid's new solution for bi-directional EV charging. Uh, but what vehicle-to-home battery technology is, is very simply the ability to use your electric vehicle battery uh, as a home backup battery uh, for your house. So I know many of you watching this channel, maybe you've already have a solar power system, or maybe you're in the process of evaluating options for a solar power system. And I know many of my, my clients, and myself included, we choose to install battery storage with our solar power system. Uh, and, and the reason for that is very simply, we want to be able to be energy independent. Even if there's a grid blackout, we want to be able to have secure power in our home both day and night. And so that's why we have the battery storage. You can run off the battery at night. The next day, the solar panels take over and recharge the battery so you can go for another night. And you can continue that cycle as many times as you need. Now, last year, Ford made huge news when they announced their intelligent backup power with the new all-electric F-150 Lightning. And what the intelligent backup power was, again, very simply, it's the ability to use energy stored in your electric vehicle battery to backfeed into your home. And so it, it basically comes with a bi-directional EV charger. You, you can draw power from the home to charge energy into the battery for, for traveling. But then in an emergency situation, you can use the vehicle battery to backfeed and energize your circuit breaker panel um, as an emergency power source. And, and one of the things that's attractive about that, well, really two main things. Um, the first thing is it saves you a lot of money. Um, if you're going to be purchasing an electric vehicle anyway, a lot of the cost of the electric vehicle is the battery. You know, I mean, it's a very expensive, very heavy, energy-dense battery. And so if you're going to be absorbing that cost for the vehicle anyway, you could avoid potentially spending an extra fifteen dollars to $30,000 to have a separate home battery system, right? And so that's the advantage here is if there's an energy storage device parked in your garage, why not use that as a backup battery for your home when you need it? Now, the second advantage is that the battery capacity on the vehicle batteries is massive compared to today's home battery. You know, right now, today's home battery uh, on average is, is a 10 kilowatt hour battery. Whether you're talking about Solar Edge, um, uh, Enphase, LG Chem, their standard battery, it starts at a, at a 10 kilowatt hour battery. Well, some electric vehicle batteries go to 100 kilowatt hours. Like look at the Tesla Model S, for example. You know, Tesla Model S, if you get the high capacity version, you have 100 kilowatt hour battery storage there. Compared to a Tesla Powerwall, you have 13 and a half kilowatt hours. So, so the vehicle has seven, over seven times the amount of energy storage than the, the, you know, the comparable home battery product. So again, for those of you that are looking for protection for a long-term grid outage, having a super high capacity electric vehicle battery, being able to use that as your home backup battery could give you tremendous advantage in terms of just running time and capability, as well as save you some money if, if you're gonna be purchasing the electric vehicle anyway. Now guys, I have to tell you that this, this technology is still very much in its infancy. Uh, in fact, most of it is what we call vaporware right now, which means you know, they're talking about it, the marketing guys are talking about it, they're showing us nice, nice little uh, animations like this, but we don't actually have any units available to purchase off the shelf yet. Although I do expect by the end of this year, 2022, we will see the first units available for delivery. Now, one thing unique about Lucid's offering is right now it is the highest, um, highest capacity in terms of rapid charging uh, uh, for an EV charger out there. Um, the Lucid can run a sustained 80 amp charge, or that translates to 19.2 
uh, kilowatts if you're talking about the US grid, 19.2 kilowatts of charge. And we suspect that, again, with this bi-directional feature, it may be able to discharge at that same rate, which means that using the, the Lucid bi-directional EV charger as your home backup battery, um, you could potentially have as much power as like what a, what a Generac 20 kilowatt home standby generator can provide, all running off your home battery. Uh, and of course, the hope is, is that they will work into that interface a place where you can land your solar output so that that battery can be recharged by your solar panels as many times as needed. But anyway, folks, this is an exciting new technology. Again, it's still in its infancy, so we're gonna be covering this. And of course, as products uh, become available for prime time, we're gonna let you know. But right now, all the top EV manufacturers have announced it. So Tesla, Lucid, Ford, General Motors, um, BMW, Nissan, they've all announced that they're gonna be pursuing and supporting vehicle to home battery technology. Now, if you're in the process of looking at solar power and maybe battery backup options for your home, uh, uh, of course, as always, if, if you need to get price quotes or options for your home, you can reach out to us on the website as always, and we'd be happy to talk to you and, and come to some solutions for you. But one of the things that you wanna really consider is um, if an electric vehicle from one of these top manufacturers is, is in your future plan, and I know I speak to many homeowners all the time, and uh, many of them already have electric vehicles, many of you are planning to have an electric vehicle in the next one to two years. Uh, and so the one thing you really want to ask yourself is, does it, does it really make sense to invest in purchasing a home battery now just to use with your solar system, knowing that we have vehicle-to-home battery technology coming down the pipeline very, very soon. So for those of you that, you know, maybe you don't have to have a battery backup this year, um, perhaps it might make sense to wait, you know, avoid the cost of buying a high-priced, um, relatively underpowered battery if you're comparing home battery specs versus vehicle battery specs. Uh, it might make sense to wait on the battery portion until next year, until some of these are available. Um, whereas with the solar, I would say kind of the opposite is, is the case. Right now with the solar, we have very, very limited supply of solar panels that we can offer at the 2021 pricing. Uh, and we also know, based on the announcement last week, that interest rates for solar financing are going to be going up soon. Um, so again, if, if you are in the process of looking at solar power options for your home, uh, if you'd like to work with one of our ec expert team members here at Solar Surge, um, as always, feel free to just reach out to us on the link below. It'll take you to our website where you can schedule a free virtual meeting and just have a short consultation with one of our experts here and see what options might be the best for you. Well, folks, I thank you again for taking time to tune into Solar Surge today. Um, as always, if you're getting good value from the information that we have on the videos, please be sure to click on the uh, like button. Uh, again, that just tells YouTube and the platforms to, to make the video more visible and to, to, to show it to more people. Uh, and then also consider subscribing to the channel as well if you haven't done so already. Um, right now we're trying to get two new videos out for you every week. So whether you're a homeowner, uh, if you're a solar salesperson, maybe you're a solar installer. Um, if you'd like to stay on top of the latest industry developments, product developments, that's what we're going to be bringing for you on the Solar Surge channel here. Well, folks, I thanks again for spending some time with us today. As always, I'm Joe Ordia, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.